baseball fans and welcome MLB the show as interleague action for you this afternoon it's the San Francisco Giants taking on the New York Yankees all right we'll be back to get this one started after this. So almost ready to get underway and starting for the Yankees the right hander Garrett Cole power pitcher he's going to speed you up with the fastball velocity and out of his hand will explode the breaking ball very difficult for hitters to keep that front side closed and hit the ball the other way because they know if they're not ready to pull the trigger the fastball will beat them. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. The pitch. Strike one. Oh, and one. First pitch. First pitch. One o'clock. And that one is lifted in the air. Cabrera drifts towards it, brings it in, and there's one away. Here's Gabe Kapler's lineup for the San Francisco Giants. This is a veteran led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Next one misses, and the count is 2-0. In 2022, Garrett Cole set the Yankees single season strikeout record with 257 punch outs pretty amazing mark for that historic franchise now all even up and another ball Right hander kicks deals and down on strikes out number two. Well he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though he strikes out he saw a lot of pitches and he battled and this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count up as early as possible so gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not but I tell you what it's a nice job right there. And the righty deals. Now a screamer into the outfield. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Giants down in order. And now the Bombers will get their shot. No score. You're watching Major Back now in the Bronx. On the hill here today, Logan Webb. Well, this is a guy that usually turns in a very good outing. People like playing behind him. Everyone seems to be loose, and the offense tends to get going. So, you know, you look at an opposing lineup. When they see him out there in the mound, they know that he's going to compete. They don't want to let him settle in. They want to try to knock him out, get into that bullpen before he gets real comfortable. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. You know, Boo, DJ LeMayhew is one of those guys that if you're on the other side and your pitcher's got a no hitter, he's the last guy you want to see at the plate just because his bat control is so good, he uses the entire field. Kicks and deals. Ball two. Chris Logan Webb, a Northern California guy, but he grew up a fan of the Oakland A's. He grew up going to both teams games Giants and A's but his dad was an Oakland fan so he loved the Tim Hudson Bobby Crosby Stephen Vogt teams with the Oakland A's. 
Next offering finds the zone of the count is full. Well, I can relate being from the Bay Area. I tell you what, warmer games in Oakland than they were in San Francisco, and that can help you become an A's fan a lot faster because it gets awfully chilly in San Fran. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge in there and it's 0-1. And the pitch. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. First and second. No outs. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Pitch misses inside. One and oh. One ball. No straight. LeMayhew, the lead runner out at second. Judge out at first with nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Awkward swing there from the big left handed hitter. Off balance as well. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, one of the things that hitters will do is they'll look for that red dot on the baseball that's is coming in to let them know what the pitch is. And if they see the red dot, it's typically a slider. But when a guy's got a really tight one with high spin rates, very difficult to determine. And that's probably why we saw a swing and miss right there. Just a nasty pitch. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. First pitch just misses. One out, runners at first and second. That one missing inside. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. And now two balls and a strike. And he hits a ground ball right side, and it gets by him. Here's the throw to the plate. He beats it safe, and it's 1 nothing. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Here's Josh Donaldson. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Josh Donaldson, a guy who was originally drafted by the Cubs and went to the A's in the Rich Harden trade. Early in his career, he actually played third base and caught. He got a chance to catch the big league level with Oakland a little bit early in his career. Next pitch is inside. Two and oh. Yeah, but one thing I remember about Josh Donaldson is he was one of the first guys when we started talking about, you know, launch angle and bat coming through the zone, being level, being flat, all of those things that are just commonplace today. Well, he was kind of one of the first guys that really started to break that down. And he deals. <laughs> And it's filled up. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. And it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Now that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Labor Torres up to hit. In there for strike one. pitch and a foul ball base is loaded one away oh 
Oh, and this one gets away. Here's a one-two. Stays alive. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. Oswaldo Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Righty delivers. Two outs. Bases are full. The next pitch misses. Three balls, no strikes. Two outs. That clips a corner. up to the left into foul ground makes the grab and that will end the inning so they get one but end up leaving the bases loaded so one run in the inning on this base hit it's now one nothing it's major league baseball on the show top of the second and now jack peterson the designated hitter john peterson The why to kick the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Late that time, and it's strike two. Gosh, a little late on that breaking ball. I don't think he recognized it out of the hand. Just a little tardy. They have to regroup here. The next offering misses. One now ball. one and two. The wind of the pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Mike Yastrzemski up here. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. There's the swing and a miss. Oh, well, he just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Chased the fastball up the ladder for strike three. The Tyro Estrada to the plate. Tyro Estrada. That one's in there, 0 and 1. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing them down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Next offering is fouled back. The 0 2. That's the ball. 1 and 2. Battling here as he fouls it away. And a one-two again. That one drifts inside. That misses, and the count's full. Kicks and fires. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, two out walks are never good, especially when you're trying to get back into that dugout. But he's still in a good spot. He's just got to refocus and deal with the bottom of this order. Here's Brandon Crawford in there, and it's 0-1. Brandon Crawford, a kid who grew up a Giants fan. His dad had season tickets at Candlestick Park, and then at, what was it initially, Pac Bell Park. 
Comes up empty on the swing. 0 and 2 now. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Third out. So the Giants leave one. They're down 1 0. Bottom of the inning. Here's the catcher, Jose Trevino. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. There's the strike. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. The 1 1. And a ground ball to first. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And quickly one away in the second. Well, he makes a great decision to go ahead and dive to stop that ball. Nice little flip to the pitcher covering. Those are those PFPs, pitchers fielding plays. And next for New York, Anthony Volpe. First Back offering the misses the mark. Just oh, missed. Two and oh. The two oh is in for a strike. That no. one missed. And that's a pitch early in this game. He needs called for a strike. Struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. That one the other way. Makes the catch for the second now out. Second baby. DJ. Yeah. Here's DJ LeMayhew. He walked and came around to score his first time up. One thing about LeMayhew, he provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. Next pitch misses, and one and one. And what does that do for a team when you get power from unexpected spots like that? When you're in the dugout and you see a guy come up big like that that you don't necessarily expect it, it just energizes that entire team. Next offering misses. Now two and two. Next pitch is popped up. Wade makes the catch, and that'll do it. Three up, three down for him there. We head on now to the top of the third. Yankees one, and the Giants nothing. Top half of the third inning, and digging in for San Francisco, Blake Sable. Cole, an all-star a season ago, more than 100 career wins on the mound, a former first-round pick back in 2011. And a pitch. And now two and nothing. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. And the right-hander deals. And that's a strike. And here it comes. Goes down looking. Oh, man, just locked him up with that slider, even though it caught a lot of the zone. And I think that tells you all you need to know about what he was looking for in the box, and it clearly was not that pitch. Roberto Perez stand again. Swings through that one, 0-1. Oh Riding to the plate. 
Foul ball still 0 and 2. Ooh, missed a mistake right there. Next pitch is downstairs. Yeah, that oh. skips in the dirt. Great oh. job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. Next pitch is outside. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. Now a step off the rubber to reset. And there's Thank ball four. That's a tough one to swallow right there if you're on the mound. You're ahead in the count 0 2, and you just couldn't find a way to put them away. It's going to be frustrating if that one comes back to bite him. Wade getting to start at first, hitting leadoff in today's game, and he was a ninth round draft pick back in 2015. Well struck right field. That one's deep. And gone! Lamont Wade Jr. leaves the yard. Just like that, they move in front. It's 2-1. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Base is empty one away, and here is Michael Conforto. He was a strikeout victim his first time. First pitch oh, just one. misses. Conforto, a former All-Star, 29 years old. He joined the team as a free agent. Left-hand batter waits. Check swing, no appeal, and that's ball two. Good eye right there. Next pitch in for a strike, three and one. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3-0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. And it's fouled away. Swing and a miss, struck him out. That's the second out. Well, Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me written all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. Flores in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. Next offering upstairs. in there at the knees for a strike. Okay, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Bounced up the middle. And it gets by him. Runner at first with two away. And Jack Peterson stands in. Next offering is down low, and that's ball one. Flores leads off first with two down to the inning. Next pitch inside, and that's ball two. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Way inside, gets out of the way. Laboring here, about to throw his 30th pitch of the inning. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Bounced out to short. Volpe throws it to first in time. And that is that. The Giants strike for a pair as you get another look at the two-run dinger.
And this is now a 2-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Give me everything you got. Back at Yankee Stadium, set for the bottom of the third. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Webb back to work. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. And that's through there for a strike. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And there's a ball. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Went down on strikes his first time through. In there for strike one. Left-hand hitter waits. Strike two with two oh. strikes. May right. see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. And a pitch. Good job to fight that one off. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Next one misses. Now one and two. Runner at first with no outs here. Trying to check his swing. Appeal to third. No, he held up. The pitch. Bounce to third. Nice stop. The throw. Flores to second. On to first. Safe. So they get one, but a really nice try there. Here's Stanton now. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One of the things to remember about John Carlos Stanton, only six players took fewer games to reach 350 career homers. That's impressive. The 1-0. And there's a foul ball. The next That's offering misses. Two and one. And oh downstairs. The three one. Three one and he couldn't come up with it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much okay. gifted in first base with a quick free pass. First and second, one out. Josh Donaldson stepping in now for the Yankees. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. So the tying run at second. That's in there. One ball, one strike. Good eye right there. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. The two on. On the ground, two ball. Flips it, Crawford. Over to second, and that's two. 
They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the center fielder, Mike Yastrzemski. The pitch. There's a strike. Just missed. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Fights that one away. Still one and two. The pitch. Hard ground ball based knock. Right there does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. And up next for the Giants, Tyro Estrada. Worked to walk in his first trip to the plate. And he no swings ball. and misses, Let's and it's nothing at one. This one popped up. LeMayhew under it, pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Oh, Unbelievable that he missed it right there. I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrating with himself until his next at bat. And up next for San Francisco, Brandon Crawford. High in the air, out to right. Stanton should have this one. And there's two away. Up next, here's the left fielder, Blake Sable. He's 0 for 1. First pitch, and he just misses. And another ball. Oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. Next offering misses. Three and one. Yastrzemski, the runner at first with two gone. And ball four to a board. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. Roberto Perez, the next giant to hit. First offering, and it just misses. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, this will help in his outings to come. That hits the dirt, two and one. Swing and a miss. Right-hander kicks, deals. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. So they strand a pair to the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Giants two and the Yankees one. Bottom four, and now Glaber Torres. Torres, a guy the Yankees acquired for Geraldus Chapman back in 2016. He is fearless. You can't tell if he's been in this league for eight years or two years. The wind of the pitch. There's a strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Next pitch misses. Now two balls and a strike. And he deals. And strike two. Oh, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. 
Swing and a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Digging in, Oswaldo Cabrera. No. First pitch, just misses. There's a strike. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next offering is in for a strike. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Righty delivers. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two-strike pitch right there. At worst-case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher want to Here's Jose Trevino. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. On the ground, a second might be two. Good feed. That's one to first, but it pulls him off the bag. Probably had the chance of turning two right there, but I don't think he got a good grip on the ball as he tried to transfer from glove to throwing hand. They say you can't assume a double play. I beg to differ at the big league level, but it's going to be ruled as a fielder's choice. And up next for New York, Anthony Volpe. 0 for 1 so far. And that's in there for strike one. Trevino off of first with two away. Next pitch misses inside, and it's one and one. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Center field. Yastrzemski under it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. One left for the Yankees, and our score remains 2-1. Ready now for the fifth Leading inning. Off, now off, it's John the Giants' off. leadoff hitter, Lamont team. Wade Jr. The pitch. Yes. That's in there. That's to third. Throw on to Rizzo, yes. and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Now bad. Right field. Michael Conforto will climb in. It was 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. In there, and it's 0 and 1. That one fouled off. And yeah, the righty deals. Ball oh. one there. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Oh. The next pitch misses. Good, two balls, two strikes. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Two down. And now it's Wilmer Flores. One for two. 
Ward. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Fly ball down the line. Cabrera has a beat on it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Giants are down 1-2-3 as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the Yankees leadoff hitter, D.J. LeMahieu. The line to kick the pitch. Right through there for a strike. One strike. That misses the zone. One and one. And that one missing low. The two one. And that's in for a strike. Comes a pitch. Next offering misses down and away. Line drive caught. Now the Aaron. It's Aaron Judge now. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. In there for strike one. Chris, how about Aaron Judge's 2022? A silver slugger, an AL record, 62 home runs. He scored 133 runs, knocked in 131, and had nearly 400 total bases. You know, with the shift on, hits right into it. Crawford throws the first in time. Two up, two down. Now that, the first base two base. outs, base is empty. Anthony Rizzo, Rizzo stepping in now for the Yankees. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. First pitch, and he just misses. With Anthony Rizzo, you almost forget he was originally drafted by the Red Sox. He debuted with the Padres, won that championship with the Cubs, and now a Yankee. Yeah, and I think one of the telltale signs early with him in terms of the guy that would have that intestinal fortitude is just the fact that he beat cancer. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Hit in the air, right field. Conforto gets under it. Squeezes it. And the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Yankees. They're down two to one. New inning getting started. Here's Jack Peterson. The designated hitter. John Peterson. Peterson, multi-time All-Star, 30 years old now, and though usually in left field today, he's the designated hitter. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Into center. Judge is under it. And he makes the catch. And there's one down. Now, now, now. And the now the center fielder, Mike Yastrzemski. Yastrzemski. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Chris, we were excited to watch him pitch. This is a little more along the lines of what we were expecting performance wise. Yeah, but great pitchers like this, you may get one opportunity in one inning to get to them, to get some runs up on the board. And if you don't take it then, you may see zeros the rest of the ballgame. 
ground ball to the right side. The flip to the pitcher covering. Two quick outs to open the top of the six. Now back second base. Tyro. Two outs, bases empty. Tyro Estrada, the next giant to hit. Estrada measures five feet ten inches, 185 pounds, and he was born in Venezuela. Swing and a miss, and it's one and one. Some of the greatest players in the history of the game were born in Venezuela, including one that finished with 500 plus home runs, 3,000 plus hits, and a triple crown. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that is that. No runs, no hits, no errors. To the bottom of the six we go, four, five, six, coming up. It's the Giants two and the Yankees one. Back in the Bronx, John Chappie with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading off the bottom of the sixth, Giancarlo Stanton. Webb back to work. That one finds the zone, and that is strike one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Jacob Junis up and loosening in the pen. Alexander, the lefty, warming up as well. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. And a big swing and a miss. Ball set to throw pitch number 100. He needs a quick inning here if he's going to be able to make it through six complete. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Now it's Josh Donaldson's turn to hit. Early in his career with Oakland, with Donaldson struggling, you watched a lot of video on Miguel Cabrera and Jose Bautista. A's people didn't like it. They said, be yourself. He said, well, I stink, and I need to figure out why they're good. Yeah, I love that, and you got to figure it out no matter what it takes. Well, he became good. Now this one, hard hit, left field by Donaldson, and D pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. Torres stands in now and watches strike one. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. And one and two. 0 oh, 2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Yanks held in check, and they trail it here 2 to 1. We go to the top of the seventh and digging in for San Francisco. Brandon Crawford. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the map. Wandy Peralta. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Pitch. And ball one. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. And a 1 1. Swing and a miss. One ball. As he was out front that time. And a base hit up the middle. All over that one right there. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. So digging in, Blake Sable.
trying to move him over here. LeMayhew tossed to second, and he'll be safe at first. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. Roberto Perez now at the plate. A strikeout and a walk. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Sable, the base runner at first with one out. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. One guy that was really great once the count got to two strikes, Miguel Cabrera. At the belt and fires. Foul ball still a one and two count. And now two and two. One run game, one out, one on. That one drilled left field. And it hits the fence. In to score from first, and they lead by two. Picks himself up an RBI. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced, and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. And now the first baseman, Lamont Wade Jr. His two-run homer back in the third was an important swing of the bat in this one. Yeah, there's no doubt he helped set the tone fairly early and certainly part of the reason why they've got the lead right now. Hey. And that's in there for strike one. One strike. One out and a runner at second. Next pitch is outside. That one missing inside. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. Bows that off to the left and we'll do it again. The 2 2. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Cabrera puts it away. Two down. Now the batter will be Michael Conforto. In the dirt. But no advance. That's ball one. Man on second, two down. Nothing. Check swing. He went. Two now two and one. Runner at second, two down. On a line, base hit. Just kind of sliced that one into center. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Bang, bang, play at the plate right there. Outfielder needed no help. An absolutely perfect throw to get him right on the money. Excellent tag by the catcher, and the inning ends on an awesome play.